Hey y'all, this is Jessica with Bless Your Heart. Let's make a pencil jar for a teacher gift today. I'm gonna start out with this sterilizer jar that I just got at a hair show in my real life. I'm a hairdresser. And so I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna mark off where how far the lid comes down because I don't really wanna get much epoxy above that so that the lid will still fit. After I get my line drawn, I'm gonna take just electrical tape because it just bends better and stretches when I need it to stretch. And I'm going to tape off the top and I'm also gonna tape off the very bottom because I don't really wanna finish that off either. Once I get all my typing done, this is the vinyl that I'm going to use. I'm going to do half vinyl and half glitter on this. And this vinyl is from the Glitter Guy. It is paper slices, I believe. And I'm just going to go in and measure roughly what I'm going to need for half of the container. When that's cut down to size, I'm going to take a little bit off of, like the hinge method, just a little bit of that backing off, and I'm going to try to center this as best as possible. In this situation, center doesn't really matter. You just kind of want your lines to be as straight as possible because you can kind of move that lid whichever way you want to. But I'm going to use my big squeegee, and I'm going to go in and try my best to get rid of all of the lumps and bumps and bubbles, and we're going to move on to the next step. Once I get that vinyl applied, I'm gonna go in and tape it off because we're gonna get ready to glitter the other side. The glitter I'm gonna use today is Las Vegas from Peachy Olive Glitters, and I'm gonna put it on with the Apothecary Glitter Glue. This is just a good, shiny kind of faux composition notebook type glitter. And I'm gonna go full coverage with this glitter glue and I'm gonna go full coverage with the glitter, side to side, top to bottom. Once you get the glitter laid down, you do kind of want to roll this up in something to kind of help lay down those bigger chunks. And then after you do that, you want to immediately remove all of the tape. This is so that glitter glue does not dry to the tape and peel up your glitter and it doesn't stick too long to your vinyl and give you issues with that also. Once that layer of glitter glue dries, I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna seal with polycrylic just to kinda keep that chunky glitter where it needs to be and not on my vinyl. Once that polycrylic dries, I'm gonna go ahead and move on to my decal work. Now I do not have a layer of epoxy on this yet. How I went in to do this decal is I tried to measure the words so they would fit pretty close to spot on in between the lines of the paper vinyl look. So it will all line up and I'm going to try to put it close enough like you would write on regular paper and line everything up with that red line and try to keep everything as cohesive as possible.
And once I get all this done, I'm gonna go ahead and put us a good layer of epoxy on here because that glitter is kind of chunky and we're gonna move on to the next decal. For the next decal, I'm just going to put a friend's name. I have a friend that's a teacher, and so I'm going to give this to her. And so I just went in and did an offset with black permanent vinyl on top of white permanent vinyl. And I just measured it to kind of meet in the middle between those two lines. When I get the name all on, I'm going to go in and I'm going to use this black textured vinyl from Cricut. And I'm just going to outline all of my sections in this vinyl and that's all the vinyl striping I'm going to do today. I'm going to do both sides of the piece of vinyl and I'm going to do the top and bottom of the container. And once we're happy with all of that stropping, we are going to epoxy until smooth. And here we go. Thank y'all so much for hanging out with me today. I hope to see you again soon. Bye.